Good morning, YouTube. Today's video, yeah, we're not even gonna get into that. I can't get a spot. You know, I think the reason my videos don't get sponsored is the really shitty production. Um, but with that being said, I'd like to talk about voltage today. Um, I mean, I know I've covered voltage before, but not the subject that I'm gonna cover today, which is voltage and clipping. Now, I see comments a lot and threads that people start on Facebook groups. It's like, you know, I blew a sub and my voltage was good. Or, you know, something to that effect of, oh, I know, I know I'm set clean. I'm not clipping at all. You know, I said everything clean. It don't matter. It really don't matter. You know, in the old shit box here, uh, when I demo, my voltage usually drops to 15.4, 15.5. And it usually stays there. Uh, so, yeah, when I'm, like, driving around not playing the radio, I, I like to charge around 16.2. But I like to get my voltage around 15.5, 15.4 when I set my gains on my amps. And you're like, why, Jerry, why? And here's why. Uh... When I had the tar amps in here, they had something really cool that Korean amps just don't have, and that's that little clip indicator that you just mount anywhere on the dash. Granted, my amps have a clip light built in them, and they come with a base knob that has a clip light, but I'm not mounting four base knobs in my dash. Uh, I wish somebody would really make an, a clip indicator for like SNI Korean amps. That, that would be like a million dollar idea. Jacob Scott. <laughs> I've messaged Jacob Scott about that before. But anyway, guys, what them clip indicators told me was when I would set the gains on the amplifiers at 16, 16, 2, I would be golden. But when my voltage would drop down to like 15, 5, my clip light would flash playing music. And, you know, I've done a video on here kind of discussing tar amps, and it kind of works with a lot of amps. You get 20% more power output on most amps, not all, but a lot of amps, when you break that 15, 15, you know, 15 to threshold. Uh, when I did testing in my wife's Ford Edge on stock charging, 14, you know, 14.4, I was getting about 84 amps out of a Tar Amp 78K before the clip light would hit. When I changed that same car to C-Max and started charging at 16.2, I could get like 105, 107 out of the same amp. You know, that's roughly a 20% power increase in output. I mean, that's a lot. But, you know, like I was just saying, if you set your gain at 16.2 and you drop down to 15.5, you're hitting the clip light. It's because it takes power to make power, and a lot of guys are like, oh, I set my gains clean, but where's your voltage dropping to? Because, yeah, you might be clean with your battery fully charged, but after we play a couple songs, you know, you're losing some of your uh, battery reserve, and you're going to be in Clip City. And that's something to think about, you know. How strong is your electrical? How far does it drop? How long does it take it to drop? Because, you know... When your voltage drops, then everything in your system changes, you know? Yeah, you might be clean as hell at 14.4. You might be super clean. Like you might have a lot left on the table before you start clipping that amplifier on your gain setting. But when you're dropping down on the 12s, then you're in Clip City, you know? Uh, so voltage drop plays a big part in clipping. You know, clipping is just a distortion level. Like when you're pushing your amplifier, when it's trying to make more power than it can pay, make with the power just going into it, your sine wave will square off, which is clipping. It's like a lot of head units, you know, they clip at the max volume because even that little amplifier on your pre-out section, it's doing the same thing. It just can't handle it. It it, it, try, it can't drive a clean signal anymore. And, you know, everything from your head unit to your amplifiers can all cause clipping. Um, 
even when they do it with music, you know, like bass boosted music's just full of clip signal. That's why we don't play bass boosted, we like rebased. But anyway, that's today's video. I hope it gives y'all something to think about. A lot of you guys already know this, man. I try to make videos to answer questions for people that don't know this. So rule of thumb, should you go back and reset your games uh, to the level where you're normally at playing music, voltage wise? I mean, it couldn't hurt, uh, but you know, things kind of change. Like if you have a vehicle that you like to run in the lanes, then you try to get the max out of it possible, you know? I mean, it's a give and take. I like to set mine around 15.5 and I charge 16.2 just because it gives me a lot of extra reserve uh, for when I'm demoing and I know that that's where I usually stay at when I'm demoing and I mostly demo. When I ran in the lanes and I had the tar ramps, then I would definitely try to squeeze every bit of power I could and I did set my gains up in that 16 volt range and like I said luckily the the beauty of them tar amps MDs was they did have that clip indicator and I had one for each amp in the dash and that way when I was demoing and if I saw a clip light hit when my voltage dropped down I could just roll my bass knob down a little bit you know because at that point you're just demoing and it really didn't matter I let my voltage build back up but with these amps, I, they don't have that clip monitor unless I tear the base knob apart, which I'm thinking about doing, cutting the whole knob out and just using the LEDs in the dash. But uh, in here, with being demo mostly, it don't matter. I just kind of set them around 15.5 where I hold at. But yeah, guys, if you're, if you're dropping voltage a lot, that is just something to definitely consider. I know you're not gonna be as loud if you turn it down but it could save your amp, it could save your sub, or just go out and get better electrical. <laughs> you know, upgraded alternator, put some lithium in there, or add a couple more AGM batteries, whatever you gotta do. But anyway, I hope this helps somebody. Everybody have a great day. Peace out and base on, guys.